tell, tell us about how we got here and especially what you were telling me earlier about the different types of plant things you have. Thank you so much for having us, Star. Uh, for me, planting is life. <laughs> Being a Haitian girl, Caribbean girl, I just love planting. And I was just tired of having it as a side dish. And then I've traveled to Colombia and I saw that they love planting too. And I really started thinking, planting is really a fruit, and it is a fruit that connects the whole like diaspora from the Caribbean to the continent to Latin America and I was like how can I build a concept around it and my friend and longtime business partner Ernst we started talking about it we're like not only do we just want to eat the plants in, how can we have it with some of our Caribbean favorites and be able to incorporate it and being that we're at Flatbush Central which is in the heartbeat of Caribbean Flatbush we really wanted to show the unity of the culture and the food nice I think it's time to get into the eats, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, the first thing that we do, I mean, this is already pre uh, fried. So, what we do, we fry it and then we press it the first time. And the next time, someone orders the food um, to go. So, we just pick it up and pan that's already pre uh, pressed. We dip it into this amazing. Step back a little bit so we don't get burned. And then we just gonna turn it around a little bit, all right? From side to side. So what we need is a nice and crispy canton. And we're gonna break it to this side, right? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna so to this protein will be our grill, our famous Haitian grill. What is grill? Grill is fried pork or pulled pork. So we're gonna. Put it like this, right? Okay. So that. Let's make sure we get a lot. Right? And the next thing we're gonna add is our caramelized onions. Yeah, like that. And then the next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add some cabbage, some red slaw, right? And we're gonna add and we're gonna add some. Add some. It's more. <laughs> we do give it with <laughs> And we're gonna get some pickles. That's not, that's not right. And the last thing, which is the, how you, like you say, yes to resistance. Secret sauce. <laughs> secret sauce. Our famous secret sauce. Nice. We're gonna spread it Ooh, like that. that right? <laughs> there you go. And we're just gonna place the other side on top. And we, Look at that. Yeah. Famous grill sandwich. Right. And we're gonna place it to have, we're gonna place it in the box. And every piece and ingredient is seasoned specifically. So the red cabbage has its own seasoning, the caramelized onions has its own seasoning. So it's the blend of flavors from crunchy to sweet to savory right. into the spiciness of the pickles. It just comes together in the perfect <laughs> you want to give it a try? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice and hot. Yeah, it's yeah. nice and hot. It's going to be such a mess. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. That's why you have your box. Mmm. How about? See, that is really good. The flavors are mixing. The secret sauce is like... It's definitely the piece that resists. <laughs> <laughs> she got that right. I'm a hot mess. No, that is good. Mm. And there you go. Thank you. I'm gonna take my eyes to go. <laughs> <laughs> so Ern just showed you guys how to make our famous grill sandwich. I am about to show you how to make us the second close first <laughs> item, which is the plantain bowl. We started adding these items because we realized not everyone is a fan of savory plantains, or even if they are, sometimes they want something a little sweet. So the plantain bowl is a whole sweet plantain that we take, we split it in the middle, and then we put it in our fire, and then boom, we fry it. And when it comes to a nice golden crisp, we are going to stuff it with some amazing yummy protein. 
I'll show you how. And here we have our tasty sweet plantain fries. Another favorite. Some people have it as a side dish with their plantains, plantain on plantain. Or you can load it up with the same yummy toppings, whether it's the pork, the jerk chicken, the red snapper, the mushroom, and you just enjoy it as a whole meal. So we just got done with that delicious Rio sandwich, and now we are here figuring out this plantain bowl situation. Yes, yes. so I'll do it. So our plantain bowl is out of the fryer, so it's nice and brown and caramelized. Because mm -hmm. you know when you fry sweet plantain, it reduces that nice sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect, perfect deliciousness. So our slit is open, and we're going to make a jerk, jerk chicken. chicken. So we use chicken breast. A lot of people often say, oh, is it chicken on the bone? No, it's chicken breast that is seasoned with nice drink mm -hmm. seasoning. And y'all know how to season, I know that now. <laughs> So we stuff it. We try to get as much meat in there because we like to give our customers lots of good meat. Then we're gonna grab our caramelized onions. Really just to balance out that heat, right? Then we take our red cabbage slaw. Right? Then we take our peaklies. A little bit more extra heat. And for this one, we add a little bit of scallions. And then mm -hmm. our secret sauce. Nice. And then that gets straight all over. And I gotta ask, for the, the vegan, the vegans, the vegetarians, the plant-based folks, do y'all have something for them? Oh yes, we have these delicious seasoned mushrooms. Ah, uh, okay. So, they're just like me. Okay. So everybody can have a taste of plantain and butter, nice. okay? And then it's also gluten-free, right? Because right. we realize as Caribbean people, oftentimes we're so used to eating rice right. with everything. So we're like, no, plantain will be the star right. in this restaurant. No more plantain as my side dish. Right. <laughs> Look at that boat. That is so pretty. <laughs>